Hi everyone, this is Cindy Crane the Heart, and I'm back with a project share and a really kind of quick tutorial on how to package up some cute classroom treats. So I still have an opportunity to package up cute things to send to at least for one of my children. My daughter is in fifth grade, so I figure I have this year, next year, and then when she hits seventh grade, um, we'll probably do maybe just treats just for certain friends. But we still do classroom treats. And I, it's not that I don't want to spend a lot of time, but um, the kids are just going to tear into these. So I want an opportunity to make something cute without spending a ton of money. And um, and actually, in a way, this is, I think, personally, very cost effective, because if you ever buy the, um, you know, the boxes of Valentine's with a treat or without a treat, it's never enough. You should have to buy two boxes, sometimes three boxes, and it, it could be 20 bucks. So anyway, these are what I made. Um, I have blow pop suckers, which my daughter loves. So I made these little boxes for them. And then I decorated them with some things. I did a hobby, was it Hobby Lobby and Target haul a um, couple of videos ago where I had bought these um, foam glittered hearts. And I also bought a bunch of these super cute stickers. And so that's what I used to decorate it. And I used paper that I had left over from the Authentic Sweetheart. I had done a lot of projects with that. And then I had a 12 by 12 paper pad of, I think it's called Adore. It's, um, I think it's a We Are Memory. Is it? No, it's my mind. My, my mind's eye, I think, called Adore. Um, anyway, that's what I used. And so... I mean, you can use, I think a good sucker for this would also be like a Tootsie Roll pop, but you also could not put a sucker in it. You could staple the top and you could put a chocolate or something else in it. So here's all the, the goodies. And so um, the thing is, is I actually needed two packages of blow pop. So I have to go back and get another package because my daughter has 32 kids in her class. So to make them, it's super, super simple. So you're going to need a sheet of um, paper. This one, let me get my little notes here of exactly what the cut is. It's seven inches by, uh, let's see, seven inches by, I need my ruler because I think it is a little bit, I changed the measurements from, you know, kind of messed around with them. So it's three inches by seven inches, and you are going to score seven inch side. You're going to score at one inch, three inch, four inch, and six inches. Okay, then you're going to turn your paper and you're going to score at the three quarter mark um, on both sides. All right, so then you're left with um, a bunch of different scores. And I just kind of bend them to kind of help me get everything going. And then what you're going to do is you're going to make some cuts. So if you look and you'll see that there is a corner here and a quarter here, and then a corner here and a corner here, you're going to cut those four corners off at the score mark. And you're just going to snip those. So, you know, and I have tools, but, you know, I try to show you guys ways also to make, um, I'm going to try to show you from now on how to make these, if I know how, without any special tools. Okay, so now you're left with this, and in the middle, you'll see that there's two score marks on both sides. So what you're going to do is you're going to just cut um, along the side score mark up to that score mark. And it creates this little piece right here. And you're going to do that on the other side as well. And then all you're going to do is you're just going to glue your sides in. Okay? So where's my glue? Do that very quickly here. So you're just going to glue...
and you know of course when I do it on camera it never comes out very well because I'm always um, in a hurry but you're gonna glue both sides And you have a box. Very simple, right? So you have a box. And then, um, you know, you don't have to do this, but I do is um, you could just take a hole punch and make a notch on both sides so that your stick of your lollipop kind of has a place to sit to make it just a little bit easier. Um, to seal it. I think stapling it is the way to go. Um, I have a tiny attacher, which I have like never used, and it really is the perfect thing for this, but I mean, you could use regular stapler if you want. And then you just staple it, and then that's it. You're done. You just have to decorate the front. And so for a kid's project, I think that using the little stickers is definitely the way to go because it's cheap um, and it's cute. So to do all of these, I already had the paper. So I think that it was a dollar twenty for the foam hearts and a dollar twenty for the stickers. And I'm probably going to use two sheets of stickers. So it's going to cost less than four dollars um, plus the suckers. So probably about ten dollars to a class of thirty two. However, um, to do her class with, you know, Valentine's Day cards and a treat, it would cost me probably more than that. So anyway, it's a really simple, cute little project and um, a fun way to send some treats to school with your children. And um, thank you for watching. This is Cindy Cray at the Heart.